elbow Damn. up, steady hand, relax. Accuracy over speed. Yes! Well, do not lose it. Boy! Where are you? Hurry, Father! I found him! Please, hurry! Dress. He's going down. Address. We didn't know he belonged to anyone. He doesn't. He's my friend. The boy was following my command. Then help fix this. Hold here, please. Hold, I said. He's losing blood. The last of his kind in all the realm, and you shoot him. You needed food? Time to practice. Target practice. I'm I'm so so sorry. Keep that pressure on. The blame is mine. I should have kept a closer eye. Will he die? I will not let him. You. The arrow cut a tideway inside him. Find both ends and hold them tightly. Start with the left side. Grab it and hold. Now the right side. Hold it tight. Good. Now pull them together. Line them up. I can't finish the healing here. My home is just beyond the trees there. You will carry him. He must not die. Good. He seems stable and calm for now. Greythog. This way. That bow is a little big for you, isn't it? My mother made it for me. She said I'd grow into it. I've never seen you in these woods. She must miss you being away from home. Sheep. She's dead. We're taking her ashes to the highest peak in the realms. Ashes? It was her last wish. Boy. I'm sorry for your loss. We're here. You live in a tree? Not in it. Below it. Hemelay! Look! It's all right. Is he friendly? Boy. I promise you, he's safe. He won't hurt anyone. Place 
him on the stave there. Keep him still. You live alone? It's better this way. Yeah, my father doesn't like people either. Boy. Well, you don't. Hold him still before he hurts himself. Good. Easy. Rest now. I need two more things. Fresh red root growth just behind the house. Can you pull a cluster? What else? I... I know you're a god. Not of this realm, but there's no mistaking it. He doesn't know, does he? About your true nature? Or his own? That is none of your concern. The gods of these realms don't take kindly to outsiders, trust me. I know. When they find you, and they will, they'll make things difficult. The boy will want answers. That will be my problem. Whatever you're hiding, you cannot protect him forever. But you're right. Doesn't concern me. I also need lamb's crest. Do you mind? It's a white petal flower in my garden. Just a handful. Fine. Lamb's crest. Crest, good. Have you the red root as well? The boy is searching. Perhaps he could use help. Please, the salve is nothing without both ingredients. <sighs> Would this help? I dropped it? When you were chasing the animal. What's wrong with me? If I... If I lost it, then... You did lose it. I'll take better care of it from now on. gonna live? Yes. Then we are leaving. Wait. Not without thanks. You want solitude? This mark will hide you from those who might make your journey difficult. that leads safely out of these woods. Follow this path down, then head towards daylight. Will we see you again? As much or as little as you like. Now get out of here. 
Oh boy. This underground passage should put you back on your path to the mountain. Just use the boat. Wait, and take this. You can use it to orient yourself and navigate the world. It will always steer you towards your goals. How is he? He needs rest, but I think he's out of danger. Does he have a name? Hildas Feeney. He's been a good friend for a long time. I've never seen a boy like him. You said he was the last in the realm? The last in this realm. He's from somewhere else entirely. Back home, he could take any form he liked, but since he came here, he's been stuck. Stuck as a boar? Stuck in his mind. His own true nature grows faint in his memory, like a dream, while the illusion feels more real every passing day. I'm not sure I understand. To live, simply to live in your physical form, day after day, it's hard to resist believing you are your form. In youth, he might have had the strength to rebel, but Hildesvini is very, very old. Without me to remind him of home, of himself, I fear the boar is all that will remain. Well, I hope he finds his way home. Thank you, child. I do too. See you later. Be safe. I wish I could ask her. Try us to me.
touch the water. Why? Do you know what is under the surface? No. It's pitch black. Then do not touch the water. Get to the mountain quick. I just can't believe I'm here and always. There was a time I thought I'd never leave our woods, or even my own bed sometimes. You were not to blame for your sickness. Oh, I know. I guess I'm just saying. This is great. There's the mountain. Look how close we are. We flow into seawater. How do you know? Do you not smell it? If that smells the sea, the sea stinks. Look at that! It's Thor! Thor, god of thunder. That's right! I never thought you'd listen to another spoke of the gods. I seldom did. Did she speak of one who could feel no pain? Oh, that sounds like Baldur. Baldur. An Aesir god, son of Odin and Frigg. And Odin is king. That's right. Why do you ask? I see rooms there. There's a chest. I can't quite make it out. It reads, Sacrifice your arms to the center of the water. Awaken again the cradle of the world. What? Throw our weapons into the water? Guess that won't be a problem for you. Are you gonna do it? Of him now. The water dropped, and the serpent rose. Oh, that must be why the beach wasn't there before, see? And there's the mountain. Look it, that building leads from the foot of the mountain to that golden temple. It was all just under the surface. Except for the statue. Good thing, huh? There's even a dock. There, next to the flag. We're going to the dock first, right? We'll be the first people to walk on it, and who knows how long. You know that serpent? He's one of the giants. He's so big, he's wrapped around the whole world and bites his own tail. An exaggeration. I don't know. 
Looks pretty big to me. Is this the way to the mountain? It would seem. If it isn't the bearded beaver, it is sack seed. Have I got something for you, too? Brock? But how did you... None of your fucking business. Now get in here, I got something for you. And don't go making pig eyes at my spot. I saw it first. Okay. What do you think he wants? To test our patience. When word gets out about my new shop, folks will finally come out of hiding. They'll be clawing all over each other just to catch a whiff of my wares. You watch. <laughs> you rust around like that everywhere? Yeesh. Catch! The pile of rocks there? With that key of Yggdrasil, you can open a magic door to the branches of the World Tree. A shortcut between the realms. If you ever see them out in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way. Straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do, never, never, ever, never, ever throw yourself over the edge of the path, lest you want death. Yeah. I don't see us wanting that. Say, hey, uh, you didn't happen to run yourself a foul of a scruffy fella. About yay high, doesn't feel pain. Sounds drunk, but probably just slow. <laughs> hey, how'd you think I feel about it? If I'd wanted a seer business, I'd have set up shop outside a brothel. Or a fighting pit. Or a fighting brothel. Uh, did he say Aesir? Like gods? No. Brock, what do you know about the serpent in the lake? I know he's too damn big. Uh, all right. Now you're talking. That there's quality material. Rate you're going might last a day. Best of luck with all the rampage. <laughs> We find a cipher. I bet I could figure it out.
boy. Yes, sir. It's some kind of drawing. Maybe a map? Oh! Maybe a treasure map! Got him. I like when they're that easy. I still can't read these. I told you, we should come back with the cipher. Another one here. Look, it's the world serpent. He's so much bigger than I imagined. Come. We should look for more like this. Oh, what were those things? They smelled awful. Your mother called them scorn poles. Poison magic. She was the one who showed me how to disable them. <laughs> what? It's just funny to think of her teaching you something. Yes. Whoa. Sure is foggy here. Another door. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, 
While I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See the woman we made it for? I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that <laughs> you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left its father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But... Nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother, <laughs> she would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my... brother. I knew it! You are Brock's brother! The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. No boast. I swear to Freya. Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no. Filthy. Okay then. I'll just. I will just. Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. Hey, Sindri. We found something interesting. Oh, really? I love something interesting. Whoa. You killed an ancient? Yes. Was it difficult? Yes. Is that all you're gonna give me? Yes. Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of 20 frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out. Boy. Okay. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but um, mostly they just try to kill you. Good tip. Um, I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right, but you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, well, it's your neck. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
You think all dwarves are as good as Brock and Cinder? No. Wonder why they don't get along anymore. I mean, they're family. That is their matter alone, boy. Okay. Please be careful. I'm still fixing that. Stupid head sheath. Tell me what's wrong with you. I can't tell. Are we getting closer to the mountain? We are. Focus up, boy!
magically locked. I think for this last leg up the mountain that maybe I can carry her? I told you no. Why? She meant more to me than you anyway. What? I, I just meant I spent more time with her. You were off hunting lot. It would serve you to stop talking. Nice shot. These ones look kind of sick.
Whoa. I can see why Mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. Sindri knows his sky movers tangled with roots up here. I doubt it. How are you going to get it to work? I do not care. Stay back, boy. Ugh. What is that? We must find another way up. The witch! Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy saving my friend, if you remember. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you, I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. We're going to another realm? Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Only for a little while. We'll use this. Graythar. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. Just give that a turn. There. Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. 
destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. You know, we actually talked to the World Serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages, even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back at all. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Leos! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanahan? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. Tyr's Temple. Built with help from the giants, Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a world. Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. Another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Good. Now push it back into place. Now realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. What? 